Dude, it's freaking summer cut. Week four still, I believe. Leg day, all right? With that said, single leg calf raise is always just a different machine. The hoist feels a little weird, but I'm gonna try to do the full stack, see how it feels. Get a massive stretch. You guys know I love getting a huge, super massive stretch for calves because that's where the most benefit is, okay? If you're going to sit here and do, you know, bouncy reps, oh, I didn't realize it moved like that. If you're gonna do bouncy reps in the top range of motion, you're not gonna get anything out of that, right? Stay in that big stretch for calves in particular because that's where you're gonna see the most growth. My calves grew like an inch since I started focusing on that, so don't be afraid to do it. That was really heavy. Other leg. Not as many reps as I wanted, but it's cool. It happens. Shh. All right. All right, boys. I'm dropping into 220 because I wanna actually control the weight decently, right? I'm saying to really stay in that bottom range of motion and get a nice full stretch, but it's hard to do that when the weight's insanely heavy, right? And I don't wanna have to cheat it up too much. So, 220, 60 pounds less, 20 pounds than I normally do at the other gym. Let's see how this feels. Oh, One more, one more. Shush. All right. Right leg, holy crap. That felt like a pretty nice stretch. Much different angle. I'm dropping it down to 200. You should be able to see my heel come out of the bottom on the other end, which that would mean that I got a really good stretch. Now, if you don't see my heel, that means that I failed what I was trying to do. So, huge stretch. That's the goal. Reset feels kind of loose. All right, there you go. Doosh. Doosh.
Very painful. I just realized I did three sets each leg, so I guess I'm good. Set up a whole new angle for nothing. But we're gonna move on to the hamstring curl. We're just gonna try to get a huge stretch. Similar to what we're doing here, but we're gonna get a more complete range of motion and just go stupid heavy. It's a little too tight. All right, uh, it's all good. This feels pretty good so far. The machine like, feels a little too smooth. It's just something I'm not used to, but still able to get good quality reps. And uh, I, I haven't done a seated hamstring curl in so long. The one at my other gym was busted up and it's been like under maintenance for like probably two, three months now. So, or even if it's not that long, it feels like it's been that long because that was my favorite hamstring machine, but either way, I'm going to appreciate this while I have it. All right, we're moving on to leg extensions next, okay? I always like to do single legs, so that's what we're gonna do today. And uh, what I'm not used to is having this for support. I don't know if that'll even be worth using on a leg extension, but I don't know, it might help for some extra stability, and we all know stability is pretty good for targeting a muscle, so why not? After further intelligent thought, I'm just gonna try to horse around the whole stack with one leg and see what happens. It's not gonna look good, guys. I'm just warning you. Oh. Oh. Did not look pretty. I'm gonna drop it to 175. It's probably gonna feel really light so that it's trying to max out the stack. So, another productive set. Let's go. All right, right leg is quite a bit stronger. So I don't know if you noticed that that was way more controlled on my right, but it's all good. Four reps on both legs, I believe is what I did. So we're gonna move on to the freaking seated leg press for some glute. 
some adductor, and a better, you know, quad stretch. And then that'll be it. Always bring a solid pair of lifting shoes on any leg day. I have, and I'm not affiliated with this brand, but Nordic lifting shoes. They have a 1.4 inch heel elevation. And they allow you to get, to get way deeper when you do any kind of squat or leg press variation. So definitely gonna come in handy today for really getting the deepest stretch possible. Uh, last time we did seated leg press, is on a very similar machine. And so far the machines that I use today have been very similar to the ones I use at my other gym. So I'm gonna assume that it's one to one and probably 160 would be a PR. We're gonna see how that feels. I don't know. We'll see. When you're trying to correct an imbalance, don't you know do five reps on the weak leg and then go to failure on the right and guess what, you get 10. That's not gonna correct your imbalance. That's just gonna make it worse, right? What you wanna do is, how I've done it for all my muscle groups so far, is start with the weaker limb, okay? Do a certain weight, try to go to failure. Let's say you get five reps. Just do five reps on the other arm and do it instantly. Don't take rest in between limbs, right? Once you do the left, do the right instantly, and then the key is take a rest after you finish both arms for like a minute and a half, and then go back into your left. So you're giving your weaker, I'm just assuming your left is a weaker one, you're giving your weaker limb a little bit of a rest. Motor unit recruitment is gonna be higher. That's like nerd talk for basically you're just gonna make the muscle a lot bigger, you're gonna give it a much better stimulus in the long term if you focus on that principle. So I took my left arm from, it was like 15 and a quarter up to 17 in about seven months. And my right arm, by using this method, actually grew a lot slower than my left and it ended up being 16 and three quarters and my left was 17. So my weaker limb literally passed up my stronger limb in size just from following that. So not, I don't recommend that. I took it too far in accident, but you get what I'm saying. Five reps looked a lot different on my left than it did on my right. I think I got one more set. 
I'm gonna go a little lighter, down to 140. All right, last set on the weaker limb of the day. Let's go. Doosh. All right, the lighting here is somewhat goaded, like in terms of it just kind of makes the cuts and the muscle look deeper, you know? But I don't know, man. Here, I'm gonna zoom out a little. Like 1. 1. 1.3. All right. Remember guys, when you get a leg pump, it makes your legs look significantly worse. So just keep that in mind, I don't know. Helps my ego, I guess. Oh, and just a little side note, so you guys can be just fully aware, because I like being transparent with you guys. My cousin visited me uh, this past weekend, and so we've just been eating a crap ton of terrible food. But I've been tracking it all, and I am gonna get back on track with the cut soon. Um, and by soon, I literally mean when he leaves tomorrow. But Either way, still much lighter than my peak bulk. Still looking much leaner, which is good. So, but right now I guess you're seeing somewhat of a carved up version of myself. Hence, some quad vein right there, which I haven't seen in eons. Or I guess just four weeks. All right. I'm gonna get on a good posing song, pose for a little bit. Oh, I am freaking full, holy crap. And I don't mean like full of carbs necessarily, I just mean like literally I ate a crap ton. A little hard to vacuum and stuff. Side chest.
All right, one last little leg shot, I guess. Calves are looking so much bigger. Quads are looking bigger. Left leg is finally catching up. All right, take care, guys.